you know, a couple weeks, middle of July time frame when the announcement of Mula Omar's death came out, you got to think to yourselves, you know, he's been dead for two years. Why didn't, why didn't the regular Taliban know about that? Who was hiding it from them? Uh, I think Mansoor was doing that. Why was he doing it? Who was passing out the messages? Why was he passing out the messages he was passing out? Who was going to benefit from that? I mean, these are all questions I think that uh, everybody should ask themselves about what's happening. And, and for me, if I was in the Taliban, I, was, I would think that I was being deceived and that uh, uh, for, for many, many years and fighting really for no purpose. And I would really look at trying to become part of the political process and integrate back into society with Afghanistan and be with my family and, you know, have a safe, safe life rather than fighting for somebody that was deceiving everybody. I, I think what's happening right now is they're trying to figure out who is going to lead the Taliban. Is it Mansoor? Is it Zakir? Uh, is it Yaqub? Is it Manan? And they're trying to figure that piece out. And as they do that, everybody's trying to prove themselves. And, uh, and as they know, as they move toward peace talks, that they have to, they have to represent themselves from a position of strength. So that you have seen some increased fighting in Helmand and Musakala and the Nauzad uh, and Aruzgan, Zabul. So in those areas, I do think the Taliban are trying to come together to continue to remain relevant and show people, hey, we're still here. But again, as we just saw a couple days ago, uh, the Afghan security forces are back in Musakala. They're clearing the district center out there. They're bringing the governance back in there. Uh, they'll continue to do that around Kajaki Dam as well. Um, so I, I think the message from the I, I don't know what the message is from the Taliban, to tell you the truth. They, I don't think they have a very good message when you kill women and children, uh, fellow Afghans. I mean, what possibly could your message be? They've got to become part of the political process. Uh, but they're trying to be, remain relevant. By trying to be, remain relevant, they're trying to gain territory. I think that's why you've seen some increased fighting. But again, I'm on the side of the Afghan security forces that are better trained, uh, that, will, that will, will win this in the end here.